Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give to you his blessing out of Zion. Thus may the Lord Almighty, our God and Saviour, grant to us a quiet night and a perfect end. For our help is in the name of this Lord who made heaven and earth. As we come to the end of this day, we acknowledge our need of forgiveness. And so together we say, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins. Heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. With the confidence that our requests are answered, we say, Before the ending of this day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. But before we sleep, we long to hear from God in his word. And tonight we listen to the testimony of Psalm 16, verse 11, where the psalmist says, you are daily giving me experience of the living path giving me an abounding joy in your presence, sharing the delights to be found at your right hand. The spiritual life is characterized by both darkness and light. Here the psalmist focuses upon the latter, our near daily experience, provides ample proof that to live in the Lord's presence is to enjoy a lasting quality of life to which all others are strangers. Lord God, amid the daily round, we can trace your hand and see your face and find in this knowledge abounding joys that will never fail us. Lord God, receive our thanks. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And so may the Lord our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless us and watch over us. May the Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord look kindly on us and give to us his peace.